Hey guys, Eclipse14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. Alright, we're almost completely done with the Marsh Cave. All that's left is a couple rooms down here that have the remaining treasure that I didn't pick up. So, let's finish this place off once and for all. We're gonna continue west, mainly because I knew the far left and right rooms, I knew they had treasure. But I didn't remember which one didn't have one out of the Mystic Key rooms here. Three scum to start things off, though. Um... I mean... In all honesty, I've been doing fine. I'll just run the standard fire and just go one at a time. If I'm lucky, I'll get a critical hit. Which... I'd say is an alright chance of happening. Well, now anyway. And if all else fails, then, well, everybody's gonna just bash that one down from one damage. Oh, there, there goes Edge. Doing exactly what he should have done. With any luck, I'll save... Nope, he went first. And somehow, that did not actually take it out outright, so I had a one damage termination by default. Congratulations. Alright, which one of these was not the one? I think it was this one. Let me go to the other one just in case. Three muck? Oh, this is much more dangerous. Um... Actually, I think they resist ice. I mean, it's nice that it's 69 damage, but not so much when it was a critical against Zest. On the plus side, I criticaled against the Muck and took it out outright. So, I guess it balanced out there. And that wraps that up. Yeah, a little bit of a mess because of the critical, but... I mean, at least I managed. Oh, hey, there's level 10. Finally, we're into double digits. I'll go ahead and just... See all this, and all five stats for Edge. Awesome stuff. 169 points for Flow, which is cool. And that's that. Speaking of Teal, though, he needs a few of these. There we go. I mean, Zess will be fine at this level. I mean, look how much HP he's got compared to the second next. He's nearly got 100 over Flow. Alright, is this the room that's got the treasure? Or no? This is the one, which means the one on the right does not have anything. It's just a bunch of rocks. How do I approach this, though? Of course, that was the trap. It was. It had to have been the bottom. Well, lightning two. I mean, not that I'm really worried. Yeah, the wizards hit hard, but I've got weapons that also hit hard, so I'm not. I'm not as worried anymore than I was initially. Edge has been getting a lot of criticals, though. That's actually the biggest surprise of it all. One damage. Really? I mean, look at this! Zest got one, too. Just crazy stuff. Anyway, inside here is a silver dagger. Or a mithril dagger in later versions. Which I can actually give to Teal. And do that for something different. Well, I'm at, I'll go ahead and give that power staff to Flow. Just change it up. Why not? And that's it for the Mystic Key Rooms here, but there are a couple more rooms that have some treasure chests, and I just didn't get them because I wanted simply... Uh, I might as well just do this. 
the main thing was that I wanted to get through the Marsh Cave as simply and as easily as possible. Because the first time getting through here is ugly enough. That's actually my last level 1 charge. I mean, with my luck with Edge, I think I'll be completely fine. Eh, hey, what the hell. Now, just in case, ice. That's the first non-critical he's done in a while. But of course, ice does the job anyway. Alright, so that's that. So we'll head up here. There's a chest. Ah. Uh, focus on the crawl, obviously. Now nah, let's just focus on the crawl. I'll let Edge do it. No, 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 no. Let's flip that roll. I'll run harm. That takes out all the standard bones. And I'm not even going to worry about magic here. I mean, I've only got one charge on each. The only thing I have to worry about is the crawl hitting. God knows what. Well, don't even have to worry about that either. So zap away all of the bones, which means the red bone's all I have to worry about. Works for me. Don't even need to use any magic. That wraps that up. That was not a trap, by the way. Inside is 395 gil. Nothing crazy. Actually, I don't actually remember this room. Does it have anything? Oh, this was also linked to something. I think it must have been the iron armor, because I knew it was linked to the one chest in that double chest room back when I was going for the crowd in the first place. Wait, why am I thinking of that? It's a muck. They don't have the defense that the scum do. They just hit like tracks. They hit like trucks. That's really their only issue. Alright, I guess I'll roll on up. I think the last one's up here. No. One more. There's one more left. Ow. And I finally got poison. Twice. I'm surprised it took this long, to be honest. Well, I mean, in any case, fire two. I know there's one more chest in here, but I don't know where. I think it's up to the north. Once I get it, I'm done. I can just get the hell out of here. I better find it soon, because Teal's only got one level two and four charge left, which means ice. That's not going to work against Undead. Though, Flo has harm, so it's not that big. Go ahead. Also, fix this. Because it's a dumpster fire. There we go. Everybody's where they should be. This has to be it. 295 gil. Yep, that's it. Alright, I can get out of here now. Yeah, because there's nothing in that room. There's nothing in any other that I've already dealt with. 
Arachnids and muck. Well, get rid of the muck first because it hits like a truck. I've got pure potions, I don't care. One damage, really? Whoops. Okay. Yay! More poison! I'll just go with it. And that's that. Unfortunately, Zest is poisoned again. Which means I'm... Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and use the pure. Why not? Because, I mean, I'm at four pure potions that will cover everybody in the event that... I have really, really horrific luck and everybody gets poisoned. I've had that happen more than once. Not in this run, fortunately. But... It can be disastrous if that happens. Two gargoyles. Well, this should be fine. I am gonna ice one, though. Twenty-three. Really? That's it? And of course, I had to critical, I probably shouldn't have even used ice there to begin with. Ah, uh, then again, the... Zest and Edge both did, so... Oh well. Alright. Oh, what's... I have no option but to run. I'm not using Ice 2 just for this. Yeah, I'm down to just a single Ice 2 or Fast Charge with Teal. Just, just, no. Alright. Get up. Up the ladder. And we're almost out of this place for good. Keep going, keep going. What's this? Two shadows? I mean, even if it's an ambush, these guys are a joke. So I'll just bash these guys down and be done with it. Do I really need to say anything else? They're a joke. They kind of always were. And that's that! Finally, I don't ever have to come back to this place. Double Geist. I mean, it's just two of them. So... I'm not even gonna bother with magic. Of course, it's paralysis. Unzest. Of course. Well. Ouch. At least one's down. And Zest is back up, which is good. Now to just finish it off and move on. Yeah, with two guys, I just, there's no reason to use harm. 
three or more, yeah, I would have yeah, I I'd have done it. I'll leave it at that. Keep going up. And I maybe nope, not yet. This I will use arm. Damn it. Well, Edge, hopefully your target's the one that gets one shot. That was obvious. Zest did not. Uh, of course. That was just bad. Oh, crap. Well, Edge got up, which is fine. They're low enough that Flo and Teal should be able to take them on. Besides, I've got the gear. I'll go ahead and run a Cure 2 on Edge. There we are. Everybody's up to relative numbers. Wow, 16 and a half minutes going through that cave. I mean, that's probably not a surprise. Ogre and Creep. Wait, why am I doing this? There we go. I figured the Ogre would live. I'm just hoping the Creep goes down. And it should. Yep. Wraps that up, and we can move on. I'll rest at Elfland, and I'm gonna skip Canaria. Mainly because, again, I've only got one Ice 2 charge. And that's it. Speaking of magic charges, I have 8,000 gil. Sweet. I'm actually going to go ahead and finish up some more level 4 stuff. So, I'll go ahead and just do that. I need a ice, so I'll get that. And, really, I don't know of anything else I need. Flow, a ice. And Teal, um, Confusion's kind of fun, but later I'll get an item that does it anyway. I'll do Sleep too. And that's that. Well, that was quick. Well, fortunately, it's just this. Big deal. No gum. Twenty-four? Are you kidding me? Yikes. Fortunately, the long and toughest part of getting the Mystic Key Treasures is over with. All that's left is to go to Canarium. Which I saved deliberately for last. Hopefully, no really dumb encounters on the way up there. Well, I'll find out eventually. I may have to do a lightning two or two, depending on the Sahagan amount. Or I just don't face any encounter at all. That's, that's nice. Okay, so heading to the Canaria Vaults. Just need to head up to the northeastern quadrant. And that's the vaults. Just need to make my way here, down, right, and there are the rooms. In the right side, there's three chests containing an iron staff, 
a saber, and a silver dagger, which I already picked up at the Marsh Cave. Oh well. Garbage overall. Iron armor. Iron shield. And the most important item of them all. TNT. A dynamite. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I had to. I can't, you can't think of that without ACDC in my eyes, but that's, that's irrelevant to the point. Yeah, unfortunately, Canarias is easily the most middling of them all, but the main reason for coming here is obviously the TNT, because you need that in order to progress. Anyway, I do not need this. I do not need the Saber either. And I already have a Silver Dagger, why do I need a second one? Speaking of, don't I have any spare stuff? I'll just take care of the Silver Hammer. I'll let the Power Staff come around. That's it for that. I'm pretty sure that's all equipped, so I can't really do that. Don't need the Copper anymore. Flo has the Iron Armor, which I don't need. And Teal has the Iron Shield, which is also not necessary. And that's that. 21 and a half minutes. Um, I'll just go back into the inn. Rest up. So I can save the game. And with that, I will cut the episode here. And next episode, we're going to put that TNT to use. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.